cloud storage is pretty neat. We'd just like to take a moment to truly think about and appreciate this fact. Of course, we as gamers are primarily referring to cloud saves, but really, cloud storage as a whole has injected a new level of convenience to our everyday lives that's easy to take for granted. There's nothing quite like the ability to sync your data across multiple devices and access it on the fly. And best of all, everyone can use cloud storage since all major providers offer free accounts. But which storage provider would you like handling your important data? At the moment, the four big players in this field are Apple's iCloud, Google Drive, Microsoft's OneDrive, and last but not least, Dropbox. Each provider offers something unique that'll cater to a specific kind of user, which is why we'll go over all four options in this video to figure out what's the best for whom. So without any further ado, let's begin. Now, before we go over each provider and the unique features they offer individually, we'd like to cover the basics that apply to all of them. And nothing is as basic in this context as the price and volume of storage on offer. As we've said, all four providers offer free accounts that anyone can make and use, but not all of them come with an equal amount of storage. For the low, low price of $0, iCloud offers 5GB of storage. And the same goes for OneDrive. In contrast, free accounts for Google Drive come with no fewer than 15 gigabytes of storage. And as for Dropbox, here you only get 2 gigabytes of storage as a free user. On the other end of the spectrum, iCloud and Google Drive both cap out at 2 terabytes at a monthly price of $9.99. Microsoft's OneDrive caps out at 1 terabyte for $6.99, although their shared family plan offers a whopping 6 terabytes of storage for just $9.99. As for Dropbox, it actually has only two plans in addition to the free one, 2 terabytes for $11.99 and 3 terabytes for $19.99 a month. So if you're looking for the provider that's best for free users, Google Drive really stands out with its generous storage volume that beats the competition by a landslide. However, even the meager 2 gigabytes of free storage that Dropbox offer can be quite enough if you're just interested in backing up PDFs, Word files, and some images. And if you're itching for more storage but don't need literal terabytes of it, iCloud, Google Drive, and OneDrive are all viable options. Among them, you'll find plenty of plans ranging from 50 to 200 gigabytes at anywhere between $1 and $3 a month. However, there's more to these services than just price and storage. As we've said, they all come with unique features that will make them more appealing to certain target demographics. So let's take a look at each of them to determine which one is best for you. First up, we have iCloud, which is overall underwhelming in terms of extra features. To be more specific, it actually has none. If you pay for the storage, you get the storage. That's pretty much it. On the plus side, like all Apple software, iCloud works brilliantly within the confines of the Apple ecosystem. So if you're already a Mac or iPhone user, then you'll love how brilliantly iCloud runs on them. But if you're using Windows, we don't recommend it. The software feels really cumbersome and dated when used outside the Apple infrastructure. What's more, the only way you'd be able to access iCloud apps like Photos or Mail in Windows would be through a browser which isn't really ideal. So if you're a dedicated Apple user who'd like to quickly and conveniently sync their data across multiple devices, go for it. It even has family sharing and folder sharing. And best of all, the 50 gigabytes plan costs only a dollar a month. However, if you haven't already made a settlement for yourself within the Apple ecosystem, this is probably not the place to start building. Next up, we have Google Drive or Google One as it's been rebranded. Even though it technically has more features and benefits than iCloud, Google Drive shares many similarities with it. Yes, it allegedly offers various extra benefits to paid plan users, but these benefits vary from country to country and aren't well defined. For example, some of the benefits listed include rewards on Google Store, credits in the Play Store, and discounts on hotels found through Google Search, which supposedly go up as high as 40%. At first glance, this sounds awesome, but because the benefits aren't well defined, we can't take the potential best case scenario into consideration here when different users can have wildly different experiences. So for all intents and purposes, we like to think of Google Drive as offering no extra benefits. And really, you shouldn't pick it over another cloud storage service just because of this. 
If you like the base offer, then you can think of the extra benefits as cool perks that you may or may not get, but nothing more. What's also noteworthy is that Google Drive works much better on Windows than iCloud. It's far less clunky and feels more modern. Needless to say, it's fully optimized to work on Android and Chrome OS, so if you're a Windows user, this is a good choice, and if you're a Windows user with an Android, it's an even better one. But if you're looking for the best Windows experience cloud storage has to offer, you should look no further than Microsoft's very own OneDrive. Now this is where things get interesting. The free version of OneDrive, of course, nets you just the allotted storage room, and the same goes for the $199 plan that raises the storage cap up to 100 gigabytes. But if you should purchase the more expensive 365 Personal or 365 Family plan, you'll receive access to useful extra features. In particular, you'll get full access to Microsoft Word, Excel, PowerPoint, and Outlook on up to five PCs. This comes with extra security and rollback features as well as extra expandable storage. So while these plans are more expensive than the standard fare that ranges between zero and three dollars, they sure pack a lot of stuff. Most notably, the 365 personal plan that goes for $6.99 is the only plan, on OneDrive or otherwise, that offers one terabyte of storage. In terms of value, getting two terabytes for $9.99 or $11.99 in case of Dropbox may seem like a better deal, but let's not underestimate just how large a single terabyte of storage is. Most users won't max out the first terabyte, let alone start filling out the second one. So unless you genuinely need the extra volume, you're not going to lose out on anything. Add to that the rather affordable access to four Microsoft Office apps, and you've got yourself a winner. And last but not least, there is Dropbox, the only provider on this list that isn't backed by a massive corporation, yet manages to make the list despite costing the most. How's this even possible? Well, the answer is quite simple. Dropbox has the best features set out of the four services covered in this video. Although we should point out that these features appeal to professional users more so than casual ones. If you're a casual user, nothing beats OneDrive in terms of extra features. But on a professional level, nothing can compare with Dropbox. For starters, it has SmartSync, which allows you to access your files on the cloud instantly without keeping them stored locally. Text search and auto OCR, which can search text contents of all the stored files and images, and Dropbox transfer, which is used to securely send files to others. These features are supremely awesome in the right hands, but certainly not worth the money in the wrong hands. And even though Dropbox is the most expensive service on a month-to-month -month basis, the one-year commitment to the 2TB plan brings down the monthly cost to $9.99, which is in line with iCloud and Google Drive. Hopefully this should make it clear how Dropbox has managed to keep up with this kind of competition. So now that we've seen the contestants, it should be easy to determine which one is best suited for your needs. Overall, we feel that OneDrive offers the best value for casual consumers, even if they aren't looking to net the use of some Office apps, which is still a huge bonus in our eyes. Then again, if you're a professional, you'll likely value the features offered by Dropbox more highly, making it the ideal option. And of course, we mustn't forget about iCloud and Google Drive, which are still great options if you're already a part of their ecosystem, even without any of the additional perks. But picking out the right storage provider is just step one. Granted, there are only two steps, but the second step is not one you should neglect. Namely, how much storage you actually need. This is a question you have to ask yourself. If you're just looking at the prices, it's easy to get swept up by the value they display. On average, a dollar gets you around 50 gigabytes of cloud storage, but $10 gets you two terabytes. That's 10 times the cache, but 40 times the storage. So is that a good deal? Yes, incredibly so. But if, and only if, you need that much storage. This is where you need to consider which type of files you plan on storing on the cloud. Text files like Office documents, PDFs, and eBooks don't really take up any space at all. And the same goes for photos. You could literally fit thousands of them on Google Drive's 15 gigabytes of free storage and never run out. On the other hand, audio and video files can be enormous, depending on their length and quality. They can easily fill up the storage provided by these free plans, or even some of the cheaper plans. That is why it's best to have a clear vision of what you want to keep on the cloud before committing to any plan. 
You should always leave some free space for unforeseen files, but this doesn't need to be hundreds of gigabytes that often go unused. Furthermore, if you're having trouble fitting all of the files in the cloud, ask yourself whether you need all of them up there in the first place. The main advantage of cloud storage is the ability to stay synced across many devices. But in some cases, external storage would do the trick just as well, if not better. External HDDs and SSDs are more cumbersome, sure, but since you only need to purchase them once, they easily end up costing less than any paid cloud storage plan in the long run. And that about does it for this video. We hope you found it helpful. You can let us know if you have by liking it, sharing it with friends, or leaving a comment. And if you'd like to see more videos like this one, make sure to subscribe to our channel and click the bell icon so that you never miss a video. We upload a new one every week, so stay tuned. In the meantime, may your games be fun and your losses few. And as always, we'll see you next time on Gaming Scan.